in this video we're going to be replacing the rocker cover gasket on a 1.8 t turbo engine volkswagen audi is all the same so you're going to start by removing the plastic because we need to get access to the rocker cover gasket itself so your car might be slightly different but the engine will be the same so just do what you have to do to gain access to the engine itself now this is a turbo car so we have to remove the charge pipe by removing all the hoses attached to it. And while you're there, just have a look at anything that might be broken. So we're just loosening all the hose, connect, hoses connected to this charge pipe, and they're gonna be stuck on, so you're gonna need a screwdriver just to edge it off. But they're usually just Jubilee clips or one-time use clips, which you just have to break off and remove either way. So just really simple stuff, pay attention, and um, remove what needs to, whatever's around the engine. Now here, I'm just removing the fuel breather line and it's just a matter of just edging it out and taking it off of the rocker cover gasket itself, rocker cover itself. So like I said before, it's just about freeing up anything that's attached to the valve timing <coughs> gasket. So we're removing this because it's gonna give us better access. So you can see there's the hose, the turbo charge hose that needs to be released, which is also a adjustable spanner. So this is the clamps that hold the charge pipe. You gotta undo those. I think they're 13 mil socket for your TT. And then just pull it up once you've loosened everything around it. Really easy stuff, I'm just showing you. So now as I removed the ignition coil loom. Now these are usual VW clips. You just gotta lean on the back, push forward, then pull back. That usually releases them for me. So just take your time, remove them because they can break and they can be brittle. So just pay attention to what you're doing there. Now this loom's gonna have an earth wire there. So you've got to undo it with this 10 mil. Don't know if you can see there's that little ring um, clamp or whatever it is. So yeah, just undo that so you can free up the loom and then you can totally move that out of the way or else it will still be attached to the uh, rocker cover itself. Wires can be brittle there, so you've got to take care of those as well. So for me personally, I'd want to get more access, so I removed the charge holder clamp, and there are a couple of Allen sockets. Um, they're just in the back there. I think they're six mil. And I just disconnected the oil filler tube to get better access to the other bolt. There's two bolts there with screws. And you just ease that out, there you go. So now you've got that undone, you've got this heat shield around it. That's held on by some torques. I believe they're Torx 30. You just need to undo those. You probably don't have to undo them. Don't probably have to take that off, but I did it to give me much better access. So an old mechanics tell is that when you remove the coal packs, you put them back in the order they came off. So I'm just using a bit of paint just to mark them in their sequence. So one to four, I just mark them. This is not essential, you don't have to do this, but just old practice that we do it. So you just know exactly where everything's come from and um, you put it back the way it came off. Just in case there's any issues, you can go back to what may have caused it because we're moving a few bits and pieces here. So now it's just taking off all the bolts around the rocket cover gasket. Just take your time, get yourself one and hand ratchets. They're absolutely fantastic. They just save all the backwards and forwarding. So. Yeah, really good. This is that one-time clap I was talking about that comes off to the PCV. You just gotta break that off and replace it with a um, Jubilee clip. And then just get under the corner of the rock cover gasket and lift it off. Make sure it's all clear, release the timing belt cover so you can ease it up and there you go. Just starts to come up, a little bit fiddly, but um, you'll get there. There you go. So now you can see just at the back there where the gasket was failing, it's all wet behind there and that's what was burning on the turbo and giving a smoke smell. It's quite common on these cars, quite common on BMWs also. So um, just pull that off and, then, and replace it as you're supposed to. So I just sprayed with some brake cleaner, sorry, carb cleaner, um, any rubbish that was down there, just to clean it up a little bit so it's not got the residue there. And I just cleaned up the edges of the, uh, the surface of the mating surface of the actual cylinder head itself to try and clean off any gunk or rubbish. So this is the inside of the um, 
rock cover itself and you can see there's quite a lot of burnt oil in there so I'm more than likely going to have to do an oil change because that's not really a great sign that the oil was regularly changed so you know a bit burnt oil in there I use my drill brush just to give it a good clean inside and cleanse up anything that was in there just to help it out we're not looking for it to be perfect we're just looking to make it better so this is what I did and I used a degreaser to help do that as well and it only took a little while it only took like five minutes of rubbing and stuff and it came up really really well and you put your rocker cover back in in much better condition it came in came out in so i'm just tidying up all the surfaces with a microfiber towel there's my drill brush in the background also something really good to get all the link the links will be in the description to get any of these parts so we're just replacing the gasket like i said you've got to make sure it's clean before you reinstall whatever's going on there and just make sure you get it nice and tidy and seated down correctly there are no kinks you don't want anything sticking up and make sure you get a good quality gasket once again i put all the links in the description so i'm just cleaning up the spark plug areas because there's another gasket there just make your life easier and you know you don't want to have to come back and do it again so do it right first time so what it tells you to do um you, you're supposed to put some rtv on where the gasket turns 90 degrees. So this is what I've done. I've done it at all the vulnerable areas where there's a shift in the shape of the gasket, just to give it a little bit of help sealing up because these are the prone areas according to manuals and stuff on the internet. So once you've done all that, just line it up and just take your time and wiggle it in. Once, it, once again, it's a little bit fidgety, but it's not a problem. It goes in, you'll get it in and you'll be all right. Now it's just about putting it on the way you took it off. Now there is a sequence. I didn't do the sequence. Um, I think it's you start in the middle and you go out. But because this is not like a detrimental part, you can kind of get away with this. But ideally, you should also use a torque wrench to get your torque specs. Seven foot pounds, um, I understand it to be. And just um, put it on. Yeah, just, just use a torque wrench to get it on. And that's pretty much your job. Clean up any bit of RTV that may be lying around. And um, yeah, just check your seal. Just make sure it's, it's down the way it's meant to and it's not uneven. And yeah, just do your due, due diligence. So there's my coil packs now. So I'm putting them back in exactly the same order that they came off in. Just to make sure there's not going to be nothing wrong when it comes time to start in the car. So yeah. Put everything back, screw everything down, and it's just the reverse of removal. So I hope that helps. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe to the channel. And um, thank you for watching. See you later.